Today on the newscast, Russian forces reportedly moving closer to the Israel-Syria border right along the Golan Heights. How concerned should Israel be? Plus, do the Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen now possess a hypersonic missile? Get all the breaking details next. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast, a very busy news weekend in the world's most chaotic and volatile region, the Middle East. As always, we've got a lot to share with you today. First and foremost, reports coming out of various Arab media outlets in the region, in particular Syrian state media run by Bashar al-Assad and also reported by Israel's Channel 11 broadcaster that Russian forces are moving closer to the Israel-Syria border. Now, quick reminder here, Russian forces have been in Syria since September 2015. They entered that Syrian civil war basically to save Bashar al-Assad's hide, and that's exactly what they did. Assad eventually prevailed in that civil war. Russian involvement and the Russian incursion into Syria was the game changer there. Well, guess what? Surprise, surprise. Russian forces have not left. Nearly nine years later, they are still in Syria, and they are the most powerful force, obviously, in that country where a number of regional actors have a footprint, right? The Iranian regime, Hezbollah, foremost among them, alongside Russia. Then we have Turkey there as well in the past, ISIS, Al-Qaeda. So Syria has been really, as one friend of mine in Israel called it, a potpourri of rogue regimes and terror groups all stationed in one place at Israel's doorstep. And now reports that Russia moving closer and stationing forces closer along that Israel border. Folks, it's a cause for great concern. There are geopolitical ramifications here, prophetic ramifications as well that we will discuss in a minute. And this should really come as no surprise to anyone watching. Look, Russia has cast its lot with the Iranian regime. And the Iran-Russia relationship is certainly a quid pro quo sort of relationship on the part of the Iranians. I'll break that down in a minute. Also, the Houthi rebels in Yemen, who we've been reporting on a bunch here over the past few months, really since October 7th in particular, they've been causing a whole lot of chaos in the Red Sea, one of the world's critical trade uh, routes and major headaches for the U.S., the U.K., and the West, and shipping lanes in general, Iran-backed, of course. Well, now they're claiming that they're about to take things to another level. The Houthis are claiming that they possess hypersonic ballistic missiles. Talk about a game changer. Not many nations have them. China, North Korea, Russia, Iran have all claim to possess, or they've tested hypersonic missiles. The United States has done a bunch of tests and are developing hypersonic missiles as well. But the Houthis now have them. Is this credible? We'll talk about that as well. Hey, before we dig into it, two quick programming notes. Well, three, number one, hey, if this is your first time joining us here on the Watchman News Channel, be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you get alerts every time a new video is posted. Secondly, Stackelbeck tonight. We launch March 25th, folks. We're just one week out one week warning. It's going to be a crazy week here in the run up. March 25th on TBN, Stackelbeck tonight, 6 30 p.m., and then a re air every night at 9 30 p.m. Central Time. So that's 7 30 and 10 30 p.m. Eastern Time here in the United States every night, Monday through Friday. Stackelbeck tonight. Mark your calendars with potentially a very special guest on night one, March 25th, one week from today for our inaugural episode of Stackelbeck Tonight. Mark your calendars there. Join us every night on TBN. Also, the Stacks Cast. You might say, what's that? It's our brand new podcast. It's called the Stacks Cast. And we are once a week there. Tomorrow, our good friend, Pastor Jack Hibbs, will be with us uh, talking about a bunch of issues related to America, Israel, Bible prophecy. So that's tomorrow. You can subscribe at Spotify, Apple Music, Apple Podcasts. Wherever you get your podcasts, subscribe to the Stacks Cast. We've got some great stuff coming there. Okay, that's the three legs. The Watchman here on YouTube, Stackelbeck Tonight on TBN, the Stacks Cast podcast. We've got a lot going on here for such a time as this. And that's why we're doing all this, because we want to get you a message of truth in times where good is called evil and evil is called good. The prophet Isaiah described them very well. Let's break down Russia. Again, 
Regional outlets, including in Israel and Syria, are reporting that Russian forces alongside Syrian forces are moving closer to the Golan Heights, moving closer to the Israel-Syria border. Remember, the Golan, you have the Israeli side of the Golan and you have the Syrian side. Well, Russian forces are increasingly, according to these reports, pushing up closer to that border. Now, why would they do that? Why now? I think a few things are going on here, folks. Number one, since October 7th, and we've talked about this on the newscast, the IDF, the Israel Defense Forces, in particular the Israeli Air Force, have really intensified their strikes in Syria against Iranian regime and Hezbollah assets. The IDF and Israeli intelligence services have great intel, in particular in Lebanon and Syria, and there have been a lot of high-value targets linked to the Iranian regime that have been eliminated in the past few months. So we see Israel operating more frequently and more powerfully. Many on the ground in Syria linked to the Iranian regime have talked about this in media, Middle East media outlets saying, wow, the Israelis are really intensifying attacks and these are deadly attacks and they've taken notice. So could what it is at work here be that the Iranian regime is essentially calling in backup and the Assad regime by extension calling in reinforcements. I'm not saying Russia is going to militarily get engaged against Israel in this particular situation, but are Russian forces trying to send a message to Israel and act as a deterrent? And folks, remember, if Russian forces are in the line of fire when Israel striking Iran or Hezbollah assets in Syria, Russian forces are mistakenly hit, this thing can spiral out of control. So it is a tinderbox there right now and it's interesting that some Israeli analysts I talked to, this is 2018, 2019, I'm having these conversations, and they're saying, well, look, we think Russia can be a positive force in Syria, and they could rein in their Iranian allies. Well, so much for that. It's going quite in the opposite direction, ladies and gentlemen, as Russia and Iran cleave closer. That is a full-blown outright military alliance right now between the Iranian regime and Vladimir Putin's regime. Look, Iran supplying Russia, obviously, with uh, hundreds, if not thousands of drones for use in the war in Ukraine to the point that Iran and Russia are now building a drone factory together east of Moscow and persistent reports that Iran is also supplying Russia with ballistic missiles now, which would be another level. Iran denies everything, of course. So things, folks, between Russia and Iran are reaching to the point where, again, this is a full-blown formal alliance. And if you're Israel, you need to be very concerned because Russia, which before the Ukraine war, Israel did enjoy decent relationship, relations with Russia. Benjamin Netanyahu traveled to Moscow many times, met with Vladimir Putin face to face. That's out the window now. And you need to be concerned because Vladimir Putin's regime right now is literally aligning itself with Israel's greatest enemies, the Assad regime, Hezbollah, Iran, and closely aligning, hosting Hamas delegations in Moscow in recent months in the wake of October 7th. So a lot going on there, folks. And big picture, what does this mean prophetically? Well, if you watch this newscast on a regular basis, I believe a day is coming where Russia will lead, and Iran will lead what the prophet Ezekiel calls a latter days confederation against Israel. It's called the War of Gog and Magog. Funny name, I know, but check it out in the book of Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39. We've talked a bunch about that here in the newscast. We'll talk more in the days ahead. What do you think? Are the prophetic chess pieces moving here? Is this one of those chess pieces with Russian forces moving closer on the map to the mountains of Israel where that Gog Magog invasion will take place. Before we go, speaking of Russia, Russian media outlets reporting also over the weekend that the Houthi rebels now have hypersonic missiles. Folks, tough to verify that. This is a terrorist organization. Would the Houthis actually be able to get their hands on a hypersonic missile? Number one, it seems unlikely, but number two, if Iran does indeed, the Houthis, Iranian masters, if they do indeed possess hypersonic missiles, and we don't know, that has not been verified. Iran claims they have them, but Iran claims a lot of things, including about launching satellites into the space, etc. That Red Sea shipping madness we've been reporting on, folks, it goes to another level if you introduced highly advanced weaponry on the part of the Houthis. So it's a wait and see type deal, I guess. 
Russia, China have condemned the U.S. and the U.K. for striking the Houthis. So that tells you where they stand. They're aligned with the Iranian regime. And, and all of this can be traced back to Tehran. We've called it the head of, head of the snake here. Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, the chaos in Syria. It's all traced back to one regime, folks. And that's the Iranian regime. Not the Iranian people, but that Iranian regime, which has its jack boot on the necks of the Iranian people and has for the past 45 years. So ultimately, you can deal with Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, etc., but you're going to have to go to the source eventually and deal with the Iranian regime in some form or fashion. Renewing strong sanctions is a start, but folks, there's a collision course between Iran and Israel, and you're seeing that charted, that course, every single day. We'll continue to bring you all the breaking details on it. Thanks so much for joining us here today on the Watchman Newscast. Until tomorrow, God bless you. Remember, Stacks Cast with Jack Hibbs tomorrow. Check it out. Until then, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Hey, everyone. Thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss an upload. And tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. And don't forget to share your thoughts, insights, and comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow.